Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to another episode of Trail Makers, and I've got a new map for us to try out in this episode. This is a map made by What the Blin called Hell Ride, and this is basically a stunt drifting map. As you can see, there are tons of twists and turns that are presumably ideal for drifting. However, drifting in Trail Makers has always been a challenge for me, and I did test out this map with a couple of drift cars supposedly and i'm just gonna let you know right now i'm terrible at this i'm absolutely terrible at this just know that i am fully aware of how bad i am when it comes to driving this but i'm gonna try my best to drift around this course and uh get to the end of it using a variety of drift cars that i found on the workshop and i'm gonna bring back the drift car that i made a couple of videos on a long time ago like at least a year ago probably more than that and we're gonna see how that car that i built way back then compares to some cars that are also called drift cars so first let's get into the actual course what are we looking at here this is actually a pretty intricate and interesting course we're gonna start over here and we go through this container section with just like 180 degree drift after 180 de degree drift and then we have some more gentle drifts over here which are kind of nice this goes all the way around through here a couple more 180 degree drifts and then we have actually a pretty cool section where we're gonna be drifting oh excuse me we're gonna be drifting through a whole bunch of rings of fire um, and I say drifting, I'm using that lightly. We're going to be spinning out and crashing a lot. This is a really tight spot here. I don't know if all the vehicles that I subscribe to are going to fit through this, but only one way to find out. Um, excuse you. Then we're going to come up here, and then we have another bunch of 180 degree, very tight 180 degree drifts. And this is one of my favorite parts right here. We go up a ramp, and then we drift through some flames, and then back down the ramp. And then we're gonna go around here. We have a nice drift that just goes in a complete circle underneath this. If you had a really nice drift car and we're good at driving it, that would be an amazing drift to pull off. And then you actually have a run through a bunch of hydraulic presses that are gonna be trying to crush you if you're not going uh, fast enough. Then we got some weird drifts here. And this part's really interesting. I don't think all the cars that I've subscribed to are capable of getting through this because you need to have a certain speed. You're going to jump through this uh, crash ship. And if you don't make it, the ground here is just not suitable for landing. But the idea is that you're going to jump and make it through and land on that down ramp. And then you go through here. And this is another one where you need to be going fast enough. Otherwise, you're just going to get yeeted back in that direction. But you go through through this tunnel that is naturally created by a catapult and you go off a ramp and your vision's completely blocked by all this fire but uh this is a whole series you see this is a whole series of catapults that your vehicle is going to try to jump through while going through fire and land here to the end so that is the summary of this crazy crazy course i hope you i hope that was a good gives you a good understanding of what we're gonna expect here. I've taken the liberty of typing the word drift car into the workshop and I sorted by all time most popular. And these are the ones that showed up and I have tried a couple of these out just to test them. And some of them, they're very different from each other. But this one right here, this one is actually what the creator of the map suggests to use on the map and it's a pretty good drift car but we're gonna save that one for second to last because this is apparently what he tested the course with and then the last car that we're gonna do is this is mine that i built a while ago oh this is, i actually didn't even put these next to each other it'd be interesting to see how they compare they're actually very very similar in dimension i oh, know his is actually a little bit bigger so it's gonna be interesting to see how all these other drift cars compare to what i built not attending to use this course at all all right so first up we have this drift car here by bocklingen he says it's a very good drift car but needs a bit of practice if you want to drift with it so let's do an open ground testing right now this is a very interesting shape for a drift car that's for sure you can see we got some weight in the front as well as the, as well as some spoilers in the front and back so let's see how this thing feels all right driving straight it's not the fastest or at least it feels like it's not the fastest and when it comes to drifting oh boy okay this is uh this this is a little hard to control yeah, this is very, very, very difficult for me to control. But he did say it takes... Oh, there we go. We're getting some drifts there. He did say it takes a little bit of practice, and I have had not a little bit of practice. I've had very little bit of practice. But you know what? Let's try it. Let's try it on the course. Let's see how we do. All right, there's no, like, official timer or anything for this course, so I'm just going to go for it and uh, 
it's not really gonna be about how fast I can get through the course. This is gonna be about more how fun can I get through the course. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh boy. We're off to a great start already. You know what? Let's just accept that, that that's the bar. We're setting the bar low. We're definitely gonna be setting the bar low here. I'm gonna try to keep as much control as I can. I... <laughs> oh no, guys. I knew this was gonna be bad, but it's even... <laughs> it's even worse than I expected. You know, but we have different cars. You know, sometimes maybe it's just the car. If, if your car isn't designed well for this course, then it's gonna be difficult to drive this course. That stands to reason, right? Oh man, this thing just... Once you get into a drift, it's really hard to stop drifting. In fact, as soon as you turn it all, as soon as you turn it all, you can't unturn. That's a big issue with this car. A key, oh, I did I did not know that that was something I could go through. Well, as I was saying, a key aspect of drifting is, um, is turning out of the drift. All right, let's just try this here. I think I might have to disqualify this car it, it does not seem to be compatible with me. Nope. Nope. I can't make it through the course with this car. Let's move on to another one. See if we can do any better. All right. Up next, we have Kraken by Crean. He says, this is a drift car, not a race car. Its main purpose is to drift. That sounds encouraging. Let's see how this thing feels on open ground. Oh, cool. You can see this actually has the aid of a uh, spinning servo to help it drift. That is not a technique that I utilize. Okay. This actually feels... Meant to do that. This actually feels much more controllable. I feel like I can stop drifting. So there's promise for this. All right, let's give it a try. I forgot that it actually starts me here, technically. All right, here we go. Okay, I don't really, there's not a lot. <laughs> this car is kind of big for this section, so there's not a lot of speed to pick up here. Or I'll zoom in some more. All right, there we go. We got a little tiny drift there. I think we need to pick up some more speed though. There we go. Oh, this feels really nice. Yeah, the car makes a huge difference, obviously. I mean, that's what Trailmaker's all about. But I just gave a terrible performance right there. But please do not expect any type of flawless performance. Oh no, I overdid it there. Keep in mind, I'm, I'm also using a keyboard and driving with, ooh, what just happened? What just happened there? I, what? I just randomly got kicked up off of flat ground. But yeah, driving with a mouse and keyboard is not quite the same as with a controller. And I do not actually have a controller for my PC, unfortunately. All right, well, they didn't quite make it. I went a little bit too shallow there in that turn. Ugh. This is a really awkward transition up here, but I feel like I pulled that off pretty nice, actually. Oh, no. I'm kind of not really drifting this section, but I don't think I can pull... <laughs> I don't think I could pull off these tight corners well enough with this car. Oh, that was weird. I, th I thought I was going to be able to make that turn, but I had, uh, what is it, understeer? Mm, I can't see through the flames. I need to see through the fire and the flames. <laughs> see what I did there? Okay. All right. We're doing, we're, we're at least getting through the course with this build. I can appreciate that. Ow. That, that was a very unsuccessful unsuccessful drift. Hmm. I'm, I seem to have lost the ability to drift very suddenly. I can't do it anymore. Oh boy, here we go. First time at this part. Uh, oh man, I'm understeering like crazy, which is not good for a drift course. Okay, I need speed for this. Line up, get some speed. Oh, I actually made it. I did not expect to make it, no. <laughs> All right, here we go again at this time, come on. Uh, no! Was that supposed to happen that way? I don't think that was supposed to happen that way. And I'm destroyed. But you know what? I kind of made it over here, so... Let's just spawn ourselves back here and finish it off just like that. There we go. <sighs> well, that was, um... That was stressful. I don't think I'm justified in using the word successful based off of that performance. But compared to the first one, we at least were able to make it through the course. All right, let's move on to another drift car. So up next, we have Drift Car by LolBoy60. <laughs> it's just a very simple description. It does what it says. All right, well, let's see. We'll test it out on flat ground first. Okay, I mean, oh. Oh no, I don't know about this yet. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm having a lot of trouble undrifting. 
and it seems to really need high speed and this course does not oh no maybe i don't know let's give it a try let's just give it a try if i can't seem to maintain control then uh we'll have to disqualify this and when i say disqualify i'm not saying that the car is not capable of drifting on this course i'm just saying i'm not capable of drifting with this car on this course i'm sure someone oh I'm sure someone who has more experience with these controls of these cars would be better with them. But I'm just... I'm not doing well right now. But I'm just having a very brief experience with each one. Why? Where's the drifting hat? I can't drift with this thing right now. Drift! It just... It turns and then it oversteers. <laughs> I don't know how to make it just drift. Ah, come on! <laughs> okay, I don't think this is the car for me. Me and this car are not compatible. Okay, up next, we're gonna be looking at Drift Car by Jay. And this says, Drift Car are based purely on physics. No servos, no thrusters. Because a lot of these Drift Cars do actually have spinning servos in them to help aid the drifting. All right, so let's see what this one feels like on open ground here. Oh, no. I mean... Oh, my God. Whoa. Wow. This is the most slidey car, I think, of, the, of them so far. It is definitely very possible to do, like, a legitimate drift and come out of it. But it takes so much to get, to get back under control. I don't know. I'll give it a try. But I feel like I'm not going to be able to uh, maintain control enough with this. I feel like I'm going to overdrift too much. All right, and it might need more speed, because, yeah, I'm not getting any drifting at this speed right now, which is understandable. Ugh, nope, didn't have enough room. There's not enough room in this beginning section here. All right, well, we're through that. Let's get to this part. I think there's potential here. Oh, man, it's so drifty. I can't, I can't get enough control in these tight turns. All right. I'm not giving up yet, though. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, that was probably the... Oh, and then I overdid it the other way. Overcorrected. But that was probably one of the best drifts I've done so far. Okay, and that was terrible. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Maintain control. Oh. Man, once it gets grip after the drift, it just way overcorrects. Oh, that was good. Oh, and there it goes again. There it goes. Overcorrecting. No. <laughs> Well, what? What was that? What? What is happening right now? I have never encountered this before. That's what made me flip before. Whatever that is. I don't know what that is, but that's a thing. Okay. All right, we're going through here. I think this could do good here if I wasn't just absolutely terrible. This is an absolutely terrible performance. I had one great drift, which gave me hope. And then that all of my hopes and dreams have just been dashed since then. All right, well, oh, almost pulled off an awesome 360 there. But can it make it through these catapults? We have not had a success on this part of the course yet. Oh, <gasps> we did it. Well, it ended upside down, but it was kind of smooth. All right, well, that was another interesting performance. Still terrible. So let's see if I can do any better with the next car. This is Drift Car by Fletcher. It says, if you want to make drift, go into the turn in first gear and then turn shift up shift is the gearbox control all right this seems complicated i, I don't I, that doesn't that's not encouraging for me spike wheels how are you supposed to drift with spike wheels though this car looks cool did i look at this car before i don't know if i looked at this car before all right so go into the turn is i'm assuming this is first gear i didn't turn there what i am very conf so let's try to oh no. guys i'm not having a lot of hope for this car i <laughs> as soon as i turn i flip all right shift i don't know if there's something wrong with how i'm using it but i tried to follow the instructions and i cannot stop tumbling so i'm gonna say right off the bat this car doesn't fit my driving style all right so moving on we have drift car by babo 007 has a similar kind of aesthetic to the last one but um let's see how it functions okay i'm not feeling 
Okay, oh, okay. It drifts more in slow speeds, which actually, that could be a good thing. It seems to do really well at driving straight at high speeds. Like, even when I turn, you can see it's not drifting at all. But when I'm at, like, a slower speed... Uh... It just picks up speed so fast. There we go. I don't know. Let's try it. Let's see how it does. I feel like it's not really that much of a drift car. It's just, like, a normal car that... Uh, spins out if you give it too much gas off the start. I'm trying to drift. This is not... It's not an easy thing to pull off with this car right now. Alright, come on. Turn! There's just no drifting. This is just a... It's just a race car. This is actually a really nice, controllable car. Oh! Oh, okay. Alright, how about here? How about here? Come on. Drift! Oh, no. Overdid it. Overdid it. Uh, uh. <laughs> the moment that I actually have an opportunity to drift, I just completely botched it. Yeah, I'm gonna say this car isn't actually bad for racing. This is a pretty decent race car, but um, it just lacks any actual drifting. Now let's go to the one that the creator of this course specifically recommended. So this one, I'm pretty sure if you look uh, underneath it, there's a spinning servo here, a helicopter engine here that I'm pretty sure does aid with drifting. But let's see, oh, that's not the driver's seat. Let's see how this thing feels now. Oh boy. Oh, this uses that same method as that one car that drifted way too much. It has the, um, it has the motorcycle wheel with the thin wheel next to each other. That seems to be a, I guess, a strategy, but look at this. This one's pretty epic, isn't it? This one has potential for long drifts. It seems to be able to get out of the drifts, too. I think this has a lot of potential, and probably I'm not going to realize that potential. But I'm gonna try my best. It's gone. All right, here we go. Let's see how we do. It's just there's there's just no speed to get in this intro section. It's so hard to do this part with actual drifts. Oh, there we go. I can see. I can see why this car was specifically recommended for this course. This is actually kind of amazing. All right. Uh, oh no, but it is still a little bit difficult. I should probably repair at some point, but I'm enjoying myself actually, and that seems to be not affecting me too bad. I think, oh, that's interesting. Sometimes I can get into a drift really easy, and other times it seems to be understeering. I don't know what the cause is. There we go. Yeah, this feels like Need for Speed style drifting here. This is actually awesome. If you just take this thing slow, you feather the throttle. Oh, no. You feather the, feather the throttle instead of holding it. And uh, it works pretty well. All right, come on. Get into a drift. There we go. Look at this. Come on. Turn it around. Oh, I actually made it through that section. <sighs> this is the car. This is the car right here. There we go. We got the really tight turns. I do not know how I'm expected to do these ones with a real drift. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Does that count? I kind of came to a complete stop there. That was terrible. I don't know what can do that section good, or how to do that section good. Alright, how about this part? This part seems a little bit weird. I feel like I just kind of let gravity do its thing there. There we go. That was nice. Okay. I'm gonna repair because I lost a bunch of pieces back there. Alright, I'm really curious about this section. Come on. Get in a drift. Oh, no. I, I think I want to do this. I want to have... If there's any car that I'm gonna successfully do this circular drift with, it's gonna be this one. I want to give myself the chance. Okay, here we go. Get into the drift. There we go. Yes, ah, oh, too much. That is so difficult. That is a really difficult turn to pull off. All right, I think I've done the best I could though there. All right, what about this? Uh, okay, somehow I just wasn't triggering those. Uh, okay, I really need to get a good run up here. All right, and that was amazing. And, oh! Well, we didn't make it to the last section. There was a little bit of a crash right before I dragged on the ground, right before the catapult, so that slowed me down. But uh, that was clearly 
that that car was is a very well designed drift car that is probably the best drift car i've drifted in this game all right so now where i'm probably gonna embarrass myself this is my drift car that i spent two videos fine tuning based off of your advice and um i never got it to a point where i was happy with it but it just got it to better than how it started and you can see it's got some it's got some issues already it might it has way too much suspension okay all right this is terrible this might be one of those cars where oh oh maybe not i don't know i don't know how this car is gonna do i seem to be over over drifting too much over correcting but you know what let's just try it i said i would try my car let's just do it all right here we go i might have to disqualify my own car if this doesn't go well this is not going well but this this first section never goes well i've i don't think i've except for that last time all right let's just let's just get out of this first section let's see how it does on you know the less tight sections hey that had potential that had potential but it just didn't that didn't do it well okay this is not going well guys my car is terrible especially compared to that last one oh no <laughs> Yeah, my car has the same issue. Once it gets into the drift, it's very, very difficult to come out of it. And when you do, you overcorrect. Yeah, this is just, this is, this is like impossible. Uh, uh, that one was almost good. Yeah, I just, I'm going to disqualify this thing. This thing's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. We clearly have the ideal drift car right here, especially for this course. This thing is actually really amazing i do not like I, is it just that wheel combination is that what does it you know what out of curiosity let's uh let's try this wheel combination on my car wow this combination of wheels is like the drift secret i mean my car is still terrible compared to his but mine also doesn't use the uh the servo to help correct its steering but this is already so much better. Look at this. Well, at least we came away from this learning something about drifting and trail makers. Apparently a slim wheel with a motorcycle wheel next to it is kind of like the secret wheel combination to make a slidey car. And then you got to use your helicopter servos to uh, help aid the turning process. So it might be kind of fun to re revisit building a drift car from scratch again. Let me know if that's something you guys want to see. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was probably infuriating watching me do absolutely terrible on the drift course, but uh, don't worry, it was for me too. So hit the like button for being infuriating. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see some more on the channel, go ahead and check out this stuff on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.